Tim W. Smith. So this is gonna be uh, a really interesting one. It's gonna be short. Try to keep it short and simple like always. But this is gonna be interesting, right? This guy's name is Joy Potter. Potter, like like Harry Potter, you know. Um, this is about Native Americans and Freemasonry, right? And I came across the hint that this existed when uh, I was talking to my friend Dominique Queens, which she goes like Queens, you know, because um, she was. We were actually talking about uh, getting your name patented and what's the difference between uh, claiming your name and and getting your name trademarked, you know? Because like you hear all these celebrities, they get their name trademarked, right? And, and she was explaining the difference between that and you know uh, uh, claiming your name, so you're no longer the straw man, uh, and no one else has access to your name and stuff like that. I don't know if you can see it, but. Uh, when you pull this up, this, I'll leave it in the description box to make it easier. This is actually the square and compass, right, in Freemasonry and the G and all that. Um, yeah, we were talking about um, one of our uh, most interesting people we bring up in our conversation. His name is Asir, the Duke of Tears, right? Straight out of Florida. Um, I listen to uh, his work when she suggests, you know, listen to this and listen to that because it'll bring us something interesting. And then vice versa, you know, I'll send the stuff from uh, videos from King Drop and Lex Will because I think, you know what I'm saying, it's a, it's only even, right? But um, as I'm going through this, right, a seer, the Duke of Tears, brings up this whole thing where he mentions that when he sees the Native American, so-called Native American, he calls them, right, and they wearing the fez, right, they got the fez on their head and they got an ostrich feather, he says he knows what that's all about. And I'm thinking to myself, what? What fez? And what ostrich feather? All right, I know in North America we don't have ostriches. We have emus. And emu is the closest thing to an ostrich in North America. But we don't have no ostriches. They're in Australia. But then my mind went back to that whole definition that uh, Google will give you if you Google uh, Aborigines in America. And they'll tell you the Australian Aborigine was here in America and in South America. So I thought maybe they brought it over with them, right? And that's how the so-called Native American got a hold of it. But it also made me stop and think about the Shriners. Why do Shriners wear the Fez, right? Why do Shriners wear their own version of the Fez? And 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 and, and, they, and I started thinking about it. What do they have in common, right? Don't they practice some sort of Islam in, in the in the Shriners, you know? And then you got the the Moors practicing a form of Islam. And then you they, and then they, they they come, you know, depending on what researcher you listen to, they tell you that the Freemasons worship Islam, you know? I'm thinking, all right, we're, we're kind of tying things together, but get this, this is gonna be interesting, right? This is gonna be interesting, check this out. This is a real good piece. Read this right here. Native Americans rights and the influence of Freemasonry, right? And it covers everything. Well, close to everything. Like they talk about, you know, the number four, and, remember, and this goes to me when I seen this, I'm like, all right, I remember, uh, what's his name? Um, Black Child Video Production, where he did the whole piece about the number four and the contracts that are taken out on people, you know, when you do, uh, what is it, the number four, right? And stuff like that. Uh, like, like what was it? There was two basketball players, that guy who plays for the Bulls, Taj Gibson, you know, he took out his contract on, on his niece and she gets stabbed in the elevator on the fourth floor at four, whatever clock and stuff, all like that. But this, check this out, this gets even better. This gets even better. Cause I think right here, now this is gonna start explaining why they always show us those, the, 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 the pie chart, right? That circle, and the circle's broken into four parts. Right? Right? I think when we start looking at it from that Masonic aspect, we'll start to figure this whole thing out. Look at this right here. Like, you got to read this. You got to read all of this, man. This is, because this is interesting. And, and, and this has kind of captivated me now, right, to, to, to figure out what what what, what, was, what have we been looking at. And can, now we can interpret it, and they don't even know it yet. I thought this was crazy. I mean, it covers everything. See here? Look. The north there row, the south, the west. This is what I'm talking about. All of them. Right here. This is This is it. Look at this. See that? See that? We never knew this. 
They know they don't and that's and this is why I believe when it comes to the Native American or the so-called Native American, he is so doggone secretive. Like you try to talk to them and they don't tell you nothing. Try to talk to a Seneca and they'll tell they don't they'll tell you nothing. Now I got a coworker, she's all like she's all uptight with the Seneca. She's all like, oh that's because they know nothing. But they all gonna sit around and brag. They gonna sit around and brag, right? All about, oh, well, we killed the giants when we came here. We killed the tall people, but we don't like to talk about that. All right, well, let's talk about some of these black Indians that, that's written about in the Pennsylvania encyclopedias. Oh, well, we don't know nothing about that. I mean, come on. They, it's Everything is here. Everything is here. There's more. We just been, I don't know why we haven't thought about this or even looked into this. But I think it's all right here. Not on, not necessarily on this page, okay? Now I don't mean on this page, but I'm saying if we start looking at them from the Masonic aspect, ooh, all right, we're going to have that knowledge that they don't know what we know. It's time, you know what I'm saying? It's 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 crazy, but uh, I was, I just was blown away when I looked at it from this aspect. I'm like, I had no idea, but this stuff makes sense. Just read this. Just read this. Just read all of this. All right. And one of the one of the quotes down here was um, uh, what was it? There was a quote down here where he brought up that he it's not. That was what was it? it was masonry? And here, Kickapoo. I, I was like, we ooh. If I would have known that when I did my Kickapoo, when I came across some of that, maybe this would help me get some more information because you know most of the information that I've been given is just. You know, small doses, and it's like, I, I when I read this, now I got to go back and just like look at everything differently. But I'm gonna leave this in the description box. Like I said, I'm gonna try to make this short as simple as possible. But um, yeah, I think this is the this is the one. Where, no, it's not here. There's a quote. There was a quote where it was like, um, here it is. I prefer to take the path of Robert C. Wait, um, I mean, right, who said that there is no Indian Mason? There is, no, I'm sorry, did I, did I read that wrong? I read that, oh, I read that right. Who said that there is no Indian Mason? Yeah, there is Indian Mason too. Um, I'm just I don't know, man. Like, just just check this out. I'm gonna leave it in the description box. I I'm still kind of at a loss for words, but at the same time, I think that we've we we've totally missed the boat on some of this. But here it is, here it is. And I think this is the answer answer to a lot of questions. So I mean, just check this out if you feel like it, because I'm kind of still like numb, you know. I don't know why I didn't think that they could be a part of it. I don't know why I, did, I thought that they were subclusive, you know, from it. But it was all right here. Everybody else was involved with it. Everybody else that's been confederate against us has been involved with it. So I don't know why I didn't think that they were, you know. But anyways, I'm going to leave it in the description box. Just check it out. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I can't wait to hear what, what you guys got to say about this because... I mean, wow, I'm like, wow, you know, look at Shaquille O'Neal and all of those folks, man, I'm still like, wow, anyway, N.W. Smith and I'm out, everybody, take care, all right?